Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to one more Tom Glance's Division 2 video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video once again. I appreciate your support. If you do enjoy this video, man, hit that like. I would appreciate it. And if you're new, you know what to do. Um, but yeah, let's get into this video. So today I got another exotic for you guys. This one is a new one. It's an exotic holster uh, that came with the Warlords of New York. It's a new exotic to the game. It's called Imperial Dynasty um very interesting one we're gonna see what it does in the moment so the message it comes with it says symbols are important look at the, the phoenix you wear on your sleeve the dragons bear a similar significance to me and that message comes from Fela. Um, but even though you don't get it from Fela, of course right so the way you get this exotic before anything else we get this exotic from the mission stranded tanker on the last boss which is vivian conley so that's what uh you gotta do to get this exotic just trying to play that uh, me and my friend was playing this on heroic and we got it on that mission so i would guess if you do not have the expansion you're not gonna be able to get this exotic because it seems like it's gonna be a warlords of new york uh, exclusive exotic right uh, the exotic itself it looks nice it's just a simple holster uh, but it has that dragon um symbol or you know think on it but um yeah it's just a holster basically doesn't look too crazy um that's just my uh revolver on it but yeah so what this exotic does and what it comes with so the core attribute it comes with is actually a skill tier so it's basically they targeting these for skill builds uh, mine came with the attribute of 9.2 percent status effect with 8.9 percent as a protection um, I like that status effect actually in here because this exotic will cause status effects on your enemy, which is the talent dragon glare while in combat applies burn to your enemy closer to you within 20 meters. The cooldown is going to be 40 seconds. Um, yeah, so that's basically what it does, right? It seems uh, pretty simple. But uh, yeah, it actually comes handy on some situations. And I think this exotic is for specific type of builds and not any build. Even though it would kind of like save your ass. Like, you know how the NPCs, they rush you and they've been a lot more sneaky. When they come behind you, you don't even know if you don't pay attention to your minimap. They come behind you really, you know, not making any noise basically. And then when they come... And then next to you, they basically one shot you with a shotgun or something. So <laughs> I would see this kind of saving your ass in that kind of scenario. But yeah. But other than that, I actually did try this with few um, combination or synergy talents. And it actually works. So like I said, it will work on certain scenarios and specific builds. So I do see this being useful. But yeah, let's get into how you can use this, right? So in this build, this is my SMG build that I have on my channel, still have it. I am upgrading the, the build, um, but uh, for example, let's start off with this talent right here, Perfect Wicked, because it actually works very well with this, right? So Perfect Wicked, or just regular Wicked, right? It will, um, by applying a status effect to your enemy, it will increase your weapon damage to 18%. So with the Perfect Wicked, it stays for 27 uh, seconds. But uh, with just normal wicked, it's just 20 seconds. But anyways, by applying a status effect, you will get that damage, right? So with this scenario, you actually uh, don't need, for example, like I use the trauma on the uh, chest piece to apply that. So I can uh, activate perfect wicked, right? But on these scenarios, I could like take this out of here and maybe, I don't know, pair it with uh, Unbreakable, something like that. Any other talent on the chest piece and have a third talent basically on the holster because right now we only have two talents on you know on builds but this is basically a third talent that's going to help you activate uh, a talent that needs a status effect so i see that work with that right so i actually did try this and uh, it does work wonders 40 seconds sounds like a lot right 40 seconds for you to activate it again but with the perfect wicket if I do the math, um, it's 27 seconds activated, right? So if you do the math, you extract 27 from that 40 seconds. You only have like, what, 13 seconds cooldown kind of for that wicket. So yeah, on the just wicket, normal wicket, you have to wait uh, 20 seconds basically to activate it again. But yeah, 
um, nonetheless, it still worked, right? You still have a extra talent to proc that wicked, and then you can uh, use something else in here to just um do more damage or just unbreakable for more survivability. You see, this is the reason. You see how this can come in handy on certain scenarios. But another talent that also tried, it's gonna be um, this talent right here, a perfect shock and wave, which again you can use just the regular shock and wave. What it does is uh, applying a status effect to an enemy increase total skill damage and repair by 20 second by 20 percent for 27 seconds. Uh, the normal one will do only 20 seconds, uh, kind of like wicked. That's the difference. It will just add seven seconds uh, difference on the perfect one. But uh, yeah, it does actually work just like the Wicked. It will activate and it will actually uh, help you, you know, put that status effect. And you don't have to use, for example, Trauma on your chest piece. You have other options in here to add more damage or something else in here. So you have a, a way to activate that. And the thing is about this talent, this exotic, uh, it will activate as soon as that 40 seconds is up. Uh, the closest enemy that's from you from 20 uh, 20 meters will activate the talent right away so it works wonder i do like the way it works though now the third talent i tried this with and i was expecting a lot better but unfortunately uh it's not that great um but it is creeping death so when you apply a status effect, it also applied to all enemies within 5 meters of your target. So that's the problem right here. 5 meters. Uh, that's not a lot though. That's really not a lot. In many scenarios I try this, keep on going, trying to activate this. They really have to be close to that enemy that you apply that burn. And yeah, Creeping Death, I was expecting it to work wonders and apply the burn for every single enemy around me but no it does not work the way i wanted to but creeping that works it's just i honestly i would say if that five meters was instead of five if it was like a 10 meters this would be a lot better and honestly would be great great talent like i would think that would be the best option like because the exotic only applies a status effect or the burn to one enemy at a time so it does not apply for every single enemy right and that's where i would say creeping that would come in handy and apply for every single enemy around that enemy but now it's only you know he applies but only for five meters distance from that target that you apply that burn so yeah i wish if it was better but but yeah, that's basically what this holster does. And my opinion, though, it is useful. Yes, I think it is useful in, like I said, certain scenarios. If you apply it on the right build, if you're using the, on the build that is supposed to go with like a status effect type of build and a build that you need to apply a status effect for a talent to activate. Right. So I would say this is a this is a great exotic for certain scenarios is not going to be nothing like overpowered so just enough to help you get a extra talent to make your build better so yeah that's how you get it that's what the talent does that's what the exotic is so that's all my information let me know what you guys think of this exotic man um did i miss any information by the way let me know in the comment section below if i missed anything that i should say but yeah, let me know all of that in the comment section below. I would appreciate if you leave a like on the video. That helps me a lot. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and catch more Division 2 content coming soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.